Good morning, everyone. Our breaking news is from Camden County. Fumes send a family of three to the hospital. Investigators believe it was carbon monoxide poisoning. Eyewitness News reporter Jan Carabeo, she is at that scene in Sicklerville to bring us up to date. Jan, what have you learned? Erica and Yuki, I've learned that yes, three people have been taken to the hospital, including a little girl. Police say overcome by fumes here in their home this morning by carbon monoxide fumes. We're told they have carbon monoxide poisoning. Now we're coming to you live on scene here at 10 Hidden Hollow Lane here in Sicklerville. Fire crews had been on scene investigating and venting the home. They have since left the scene. The initial call came in around four o'clock this morning when police got here to this home. A child answered the door and immediately collapsed. Now, three people in all were inside of this home and were taken to the hospital. I was able to speak to the neighbor who, here who says they were all taken out of this house unconscious, but police tell us all three people are now in stable condition. Now, once they were removed, the house was metered and very high levels of CO were detected and neighbors are just thankful this morning that this family is safe, including that five year old little girl. Uh, about 355 units responded for initially an EMS call. Uh, when the police got here, a child answered the door and immediately collapsed for the police as she was opening up the door. We received reader, readings above 900 parts per million, which is, which is um, leads to instant coma and convulsions. Now, when fire crews arrived on scene, they did not hear CO detectors going off. They say the readings were so high that the detectors may have been oversaturated and stopped working. Fire crews are trying to determine the cause, but say this may have started in the basement with a heater there. there. Again, this investigation is continuing, but this neighborhood is just happy that this family is alive this morning. We'll continue to bring the latest just as soon as we get it. But for now, we're coming to you live from Sicklerville, Jan Carabello, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Okay.